Right, hello me lovers. This be me, your guide to Skyrim with me all behind me here and this here be an orc woman. At least I think she's an orc woman, I don't, can't really tell until I hear her speak and then she does kind of sound like a woman but then again who can tell with orcs? They might not even have men and women in orcs, I don't really know much about them to be honest because this is the first time I've ever met one. Apart from that bloke in the library who I think is a bloke but can't really be sure. Something to do with all those teeth might just be down to inbreeding, I don't know. Anyhow, she's got something of a mission for me to do today. She wants me, me to go and bother some bloke called Malakoth or Malakoth or Malakith or something like that. Some foreign name what I don't know how to pronounce like. Anyhow, she wants me to go and do something for her so I need to go off and do it. So I'm going to go off and wander this way. I'm just going to take a little wander over here. See what I can see. Look at these trees and this mountainside and whatnot and uh, ooh. I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Yet I never well, me all, I, good fight. I really don't know what to make of that. That kind of suggests to me that you might need to uh, go and take some time out by yourself and maybe see a shrink or something. You know, talk about your childhood maybe. Uh, tell them how you feel about your father and your mother and stuff like that. Alright, so we've gone and fast travelled a bit just to get away from uh, that uncomfortable situation with Mjol. I thought I might find me a troll around here or something, or possibly maybe even a Deirdre, because I need to rip a Deirdre's heart out for some reason. Not quite sure why, but uh, what who am I to judge the orcs and their lifestyles? But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be neither of them around here. No trolls, no. uh. Deirdre's? Aye, Deirdre's, that'd be the ones. Uh, aye, doesn't seem to be either of them there. Nice runes though, it's quite scenic and picturesque. Wish I had a camera with me, but I don't think they know what cameras are in this, uh, this here backwater country that we're in. But it's lovely scenery, and there's Mule, with a torch. Hmm, yeah, Mule, that's a nice torch you've got there, but it's doing a beautiful job of illuminating you, but, uh, I can't help but think it might be scaring people away from us. Hmm. Yeah, trolley, 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 trolley. Yeah, trolley, 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 trolley. Mull, you know something? Oh, hello. Who are you lot? Yeah, what are you doing here around here? Hey, you. What are the what are they doing? Oh, they're bothering you. What was all this about? Oh. Oh, they thought you were some other woman. Oh, oh well. Hmm. Can anybody hear that? That sounds like... That sounds like a bear around here somewhere. Yeah, it sounds like a bear. Sniffing around looking for honey, no doubt. But where... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. I'll just... Right, careful, careful. Quiet, quiet now. Oh, there we go. It's seen us. I've shot an arrow at it, but... Ooh, even a shout. The flame doesn't seem to scare this brother off a bit. What? Ow, hey, stop that. Stop that. No need for that. Take this! Bloody resilient little fella, aren't you? Right, let's just take all of that and... Oh, I've got eight bear pelts out of ten that I need for that wide arms woman. Excuse the bad noises there, I've uh, had to turn the fan on because it's a bit warm around here. And oh, speaking of warm, here's some witches that are, uh, what, after me skull or something like that. Well, I'll just set you on fire like that and you can stop stabbing me like that. I'll just knock you out with my bow like this because you're a bit too close for my lighting. Yeah, take an arrow to the gut, you hag. You hag. And you're another hag. Ugh, hags. I hate hags. And downs you goes. Have you got anything worth taking? Nope. No, I'll take that arrow. And have you got anything worth taking? Nope, nope. You're both... Well, all three of you are useless. Alright, am I likely to find any trolls around here? Somehow, I doubt it. I really, sincerely doubt it. And... Whoop. Wait a sec. Hargreave. Oh, she's already down on her energy a bit, so it looks like uh, somebody's already hurt her. Oh, she's quick with the fireballs, isn't she? And... Oh, be wary, wary, quiet. I'm hunting Hargreavens. She must have healed herself a bit. I can kind of see her, but not quite. Oh. Nope. Oh, she's got a bloody fireball again. I'll just throw her to death. <laughs> Let's see if I can get your health potion. Come on, where are you? Where are you, you buggers? I need a whoa! What did I do? What did I do? I've thrown away a health potion that I needed. Oh, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Right, I've got that. And hang on, 
Hang about, hang about. I think she's down. I think the hag raven's down. Let's go. Check. Yeah, she's down. Mjol must have taken her out. Good girl, Mjol. I don't think there's anything else around here. On account of the fact that I've been around here before. <laughs> yeah, I've taken everything. Anything of value I've already taken, and she's just came back to life after that. <laughs> it's like that. You clear an area out, and you think that's it. And what happens? They come back to life. Well, here we are. Hi, Rogoth. Lovely place. Greybeards uh, do the place real justice. They make a really lovely place here, and if they're bound to be any trolls, or possibly even daedras, then it's going to be on here. Has to be around here somewhere. <sighs> Bit cold. Could have done with a cloak or something. Some warmer clothes. This armour is all good and stuff to protect me from... Uh, Damage, but doesn't do anything about the cold. Ooh, that looks like a nice little shelter bit for a statue. Not really any good for a uh, shelter for me, though. All right, let's just keep running around this way, tripping up on the stones occasionally. There's got to be something around here somewhere, something to fight, some troll to kill, so I can get its. Oh, what does that need from the troll again? Oh yes, the fat. I need the troll's fat for whatever. Yeah, whatever the orc wants with the fat. Oh. oh, it doesn't look like there's anything around here. Can I jump over here? No, I can't jump over this for some reason. Must be all the armor weighing me down. Maybe I'll have better luck if I run around naked or something. Oh. Oh. All this cold does strange things to my voice. It makes me end up sounding a bit Scottish. I might just have to clear my throat a little. Bear with me two seconds. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look. Troll. Troll, I can see a troll. Alright, me lovers. This is how you kill a troll from a distance. You shoot him with arrows, and you wait until he actually gets really annoyed and starts charging you. How many have I actually hit him with? Me and Yol are both shooting arrows, and one more deal with the whoop. Let's just go. Oh, whoops, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot you there, pal. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I shot you just after you died. I think I've done something really unspeakable. And, um, I hope you weren't actually a bloke and I hope you weren't actually a woman either because I can't really tell which would have been more painful to take an arrow in. Yeah, the unmentionables. I'm just not going to mention. Ah, Deirdre's, Deirdre's. Why did I fast travel before finishing my sentence? Oh, God. Right. Oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. Ow. Oh, you would have thought that would have killed me if it hadn't been for, I don't know, a lucky break? Right, let's try to get back up there. Mule's a mortal, but even she needs some help from time to time. Uh, she seems to be doing all right, to be honest. Oh, and my thumb has recovered. Let's just see if I can thumb this guy, give him a bit of burn or something. Come on, there we go. What? What? Whoa, that's good. What the bloody hell? Well, one's, one's run off, and the other has gone f falling down the mountainside. I mean, that was just that, that was just a fire breath thumb. It wasn't a uh, unrelenting force. He went down this way somewhere. I need that bloody heart. I need that bloody heart. Where did you go? Where did you go, my lover? Where did you go? Down this way some way. Uh, one little tip I can give you. If you're going down mountains like this, try to crouch as you do it, because your knees will help absorb some of the impact. Uh, not down here, he isn't. Where the bloody hell? Oh, there he is. There he is. That's good. That's good to know. Right, one Daedra hold, one key, one Daedra arrow, and that axe type thing. Right! Well, now I've got to try to find my way back up here. And if I know the paths of Skyrim, the walkways and whatnot are going to be a bit awkward to get to, and these bits are going to tru truly, truly turn out to be a bit awkward. Bit of invisible walls, I think, in some places, getting in the ways as usual. Ugh. Still. Need must. I shall prevail. I shall continue to make my way up and do what I can. Oh, all this cold, it's definitely hurt my throat a bit. I still keep sounding more and more Scottish as the day goes on, which is a bit weird. Oh, here's me all. Me all. Me all, me lover. Come back. Come back. Me all. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. What are you doing there, me all? What are you doing? Yes, let's go. Back up the mountain, because I've got a feeling if you've killed that other Daedra, that means another heart. 
and probably some more loot that we can probably make use of. Oh, what the bloody hell is a snow bear doing here? All right, let's just shoot this fella full of arrows and oh, run away, fire, shoot. Sneak mode? Why do I need sneak mode here? I don't need sneak mode, I just need to bloody fill this thing with arrows. Mjol, where are you? Mjol, I need you. Oh, then again, I don't need you. But this file is f Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Why, oh, why, oh, why does it keep insisting on falling down the mountain like that? Why did it have to go all that way? Oh, that's nine. Does a snow bear pelt count? I mean, that woman doesn't live anywhere near. Snowy bears. Well, should, where should he accept a snow bear pelt? Oh, there's a deadra. There's a deadra. I'll just burn your mole. Obviously, did a good job and you haven't been able to heal yourself, but I'll just take all your loot. And I think I'll just climb up here. There's got to be something else around here somewhere. Ah, yes, the shrine. Let's just see what we can get out of here. Ice caves. It's an ice cave to be in. Oh, 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 oh. magic user, magic user. Hate those bastards. I use magic myself some uh, sometimes, but right now I'm practicing my archery and you... Uh, what are you... Who do you think you are? Shooting at me with fireballs while this guy tries axing me. I've already used a thumb up on one guy. And this guy just goes down with a whole load of arrows. So let's just take all of that. Let's see what's in this chest. Lots of good stuff in there. What's over here? Lots of good stuff as well. I think... I think I could uh, really clear up here. This could... This looks like a nice little fortune in there. Uh, in stuff. Lots of lovely little stuff that I can take. Moonstone. Spell tomes. Salt piles. More chest stuff. What the hell? I'll just take it all. Oh, more worthwhile stuff. Ebony and gold, ebony and gold. Another urn to empty. Where's Mule, by the way? Mule, Mule. Are you down here, Mule? No. I'll just take all of his stuff. I'll just check over here. Steel plate boots, money. Another urn with a bit more money. Oh, there you are, Mule. Did I clear it over here? Probably, yes. So everything's clear over here. There's got to be something over here as well. Oh, more soul cubes and crystals and whatnot and more ingots. Empty strong boxes. Why would they have empty strong boxes around here? Have the dealers not figured out strong boxes yet? They figured out what chests are for, but uh Ay Ay There we go. All kinds of stuff just emptied. And here's Mjol just standing there. Filling up the room quite nicely. She's a nice girl, but sometimes... Sometimes you just wish she would do a bit more for you. Well, at least we came out of the room this time. Let's just take a look. The lovely views we have, but let's get back to the orc. Woman, man, woman, right wizard type so thing. Now, you must come with me. I should really clear my throat, because right now I really feel sore. I've gone from... One accent to another, and I don't know why. And oh, God, I think the day's just gonna get a bit worse here. <sighs> it's a dragon. And goats are. What What were those goats doing? Let's just pull up an Atromech just to get a bit more firepower. And let's see, is this bloody thing gonna land so I can actually fight it? I can always just run away, do the uh, honourable thing and just leave this to the orcs, but I feel a bit hungry. I could do some dragon souls. Oh, it's a frost-breathing bastard and it's just taking some of the energy away. Thankfully, I've got health potions. Oh, come on, land. Yes, you landed. Right, where well, I wanted you to be, so here, have a fireball. All right, up the jacksy and why are you phasing like that? Don't have enough magic for this to work properly. Let's just switch to flames. And another thorn. I'll just bring up my bow and arrow. I'll shoot this bow and arrow in your heart. I'll shoot this bow and arrow in your heart. 
Uh, come on, dial. Oh, bloody hell, that guy went flying. Uh, mm. You managed to kill one more orc just before you died, you bastard, you heartless. Steven, but let's go, go and see if we can find that corpse. Looks like it went off this way. Yeah, corpsey, 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 corpsey. Oh, there's the dragon soul coming my way. Looks like it was going through Mule as well. Do you feel okay there, Mule? You haven't been uh, turned into a subsequent dragon bone the second, have you? Courier has nothing for me. He does actually get around a bit, but it doesn't look like I'm actually going to find that corpse. Ah. That's a bit uh, unusual. Yeah, I bet you've never seen anything like this before. That's because the dragons have only just came back, you fool. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. I took its very soul. I know, I know. Poor bastard, see, he's got killed by a giant earlier, don't you know? Well, I've got to go into this hut here and speak to the chief. The chief of the orcs. And... Crying out loud, what is that supposed to be? Kind of looks like a man. Looks more manly than the woman does. And that's saying something. Hmm. So they've got a curse. There's always a curse involved somewhere. Isn't there, my all? Well, those two look like they're off on a tour or something. There's a bed, there's a chest. Should I bother stealing from it? No. Not really worthwhile, is it, Mule? It's not worth stealing from orcs, because I don't think they've got much that's worth taking. Hey, Mule! How are you doing? You look a bit tired. Do you want to go to bed? Go on. You have a nice little nap in there. No? You sure? Go on, Mule, I insist. You've been up on your feet all day and all night. You deserve... Nice long rest. Go on. No problem. There you go. You're in bed. No problem. I'll handle it. You wouldn't sleep in the first bed, but you'll sleep in the second bed. Oh, well, there you go. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get Mule into bed. You just ask her to. Unfortunately, it's a bed for one, and I can't use it myself. Oh, well. Mule, get up. We're going off to uh, do what the orcs want. Alright, let's just stand over here. Oh, Mule, that's maybe a little too close for comfort. I mean, I want to get close to your Mule and everything, and make you my wife and everything, but... Hmm, that's just one problem with this game. You don't really have complex relations like that. Ah, looks like there's lots of sacrifices over here. I'm just sticking to this accent now. I can't look over my original accent. My original accent is lost. Lost in the time of a time forgotten. Or something like that. Here I am, admiring the architecture. You've got to admit, the orcs do different stuff to what the men do. Look at the holes that have been built by humans, and you just see the same sort of thing. But the orcs, they have an entirely different style. Unless, of course, we're talking about men that have taken over dwarvenness. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going to Right. So you want me to help you. I was in the middle of a monologue, you know. Don't worry. I'll make it. Oh, you'll make it with my while. Hmm. Thanks to you. I didn't say I Okay. We'll just call you Chicken Mc Whoopsie Pants or something like that. Well, and I'll make sure you get paid for it. he's going to make it my while, apparently. Make it worth my while, even. <laughs> uh, well, I, for one, I, for one, I'm getting tired. And I don't know what's going on with my voice, because it seems to be all over the place now. I seem to be going a bit West Country again. Which is good, in a way, because that's what my voice was originally. And then I seemed to do some sort of tour of the accents, and I went from the West Country of England to somewhere in the outer Hebrides of Scotland. Oh, that's a bit bizarre. I can't actually catch up with them. Well, I can catch up with them. I just can't get ahead of them and go where we need to go. So it looks like I'm off on another ad adventure, another walking adventure. 
Let's just see. Aye, aye. They're only letting me catch up with them by walking. And he's going over that bridge. But like I was saying before, the orcs, given their due, they give different architecture. And like the men who just copy the same thing, unless they've taken up a dwarf settlement. And I think, all in all, I'm going to call it a day. I'll see you in part two sometime. Goodbye!